Hey, what's up, Internet? It's Chris Krug. I'm here with Hilary Henniger from Moto Car Sharing Co-op in Vancouver. And we're at the Fuel event where we're discussing kind of the future of cities and humans' relationship within them. This morning's been a lot about collaborative economy, yeah. the idea of like access versus ownership. So this is yeah. squarely in your area. Yeah, it's something I care a lot about. Um, I work for Moto the Car Co-op, so we share cars instead of owning them, and this helps us to save money, reduce costs, reduce consumption, and have a much higher quality of life because we're doing all sorts of more fun things like biking or walking or just hanging out with friends instead of worrying about our cars. Yep. And you're involved with other sharing projects in Vancouver as well, right? So you were just telling yeah. me about Share Vancouver? Yeah, so a bunch of us, different sharing organizations, are collaborating right now to figure out how we can work together to cross-promote and raise more awareness about the sharing economy. So um, groups like the Vancouver Tool Library, Trade School Vancouver, The Hive, um, CoLab, different organizations that are sharing various very different things even a dog share called part-time pooch um, we're doing um, some fun social activities as well as looking at how we can help shape policy and work with policymakers to encourage more sharing in people's lifestyles all over uh, the metro vancouver region it's awesome i mean like the heart of it really is like why does everybody on your block need to have a john deere yeah. ride on lawnmower totally. you know you all have tiny little lawns and you use it to, you know once a month or something That's like right. that and so. i think something really awesome that robin said i don't know if you picked this up is that we totally undervalue the cost to stuff, um, management, stuff and management and stuff, and stuff owner stuff, storage or something. Stuff storage, right. Yeah. And you know, the truth is I actually don't have a lot of space. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure you don't have stuff, uh, space to store your own lawnmower or your own power drill. And in fact, even if I did, like, I don't know how to take care of it. Like, I don't know how to like do the things that are, pro you know, like in the, all that time that I would to take me to do those things and to learn how to do those things. Those are taking time away from other things that I really enjoy, like gardening or hanging out with friends or cooking. And yeah. I just, you know, I'm very busy. I'm just like a lot of people. And I guess one of the technological in interventions that like allows this type of thing where it wasn't allowed before is you like, want to know that you can trust the person who's going to borrow your lawnmower or whatever, yeah. right? And like the internet, you can deal with reputation. You can leave reviews for each other. You can see people who know your friends or what other kind of things they borrowed and how they treated it and stuff. And That's so right. we're dealing with like a evolution of consciousness on one hand, yeah. which is like, I don't need something if I have just access to it I'm thereby reducing my footprint and kind of my consumerism in general yeah. and so as long as I can trust you you can borrow my skis if you let me borrow your right. surfboard or something and I think actually that's you know technology that allow us you know to rate each other and create this type of trust network that's really important for peer-to-peer -peer platforms but there doesn't to say that there isn't a space for traditional businesses so for example Modo we you we don't have a way for you know our members to rate each other, but instead we have these other mechanisms that allow the members to trust us, which allows sure. them to trust each other. Right. So if you return the car late, then you pay twenty five dollar late fee, and our members trust that policy, and that's what allows them to trust the whole system itself. Cool. What's um, one person you're spoke, stoked to meet today, or someone you're like going to try to track down? I so really hope I get to meet Robin. She yeah. was just such an inspiration on stage, and you know the project she's worked on, and um, the, the the passion she brings to that yeah. is just you know she's a hero. I can't yeah. wait to meet her. Cool. Well, let's go track her down. She's on my hit list as well. Awesome. Thank you very much, Hillary. Over now for now, internet.